Now that you know how to use PsycInfo to get the most relevant research papers for your topic, let's talk about how to access the full text so you can actually read them. Always the best option, of course, is that when you're doing your research, you'll be actually be able to read the PDF right away. And um, when we look at our list of results here, you can see that some of them actually have links to the PDF full text. Not all of them do, but most of them do. So when that's the case, let's say that I wanted to read this one, Priming Effective Computer Game Violence on Children's Aggression Levels. All I would have to do is click on the little link that says PDF full text, and what it's going to do is open up the article for me to read. So there it is. I can see that the title is here, here's the author's names, we've got the abstract right at the top, and then the article starts right away. This is obviously an ideal scenario because I don't have to wait for it. Sometimes it can be sort of hard to tell in PsycInfo whether the PDF is going to be available or not. So sometimes you're going to see results like this one, where this one looks good, let's say we want to read it, but there's no link here that says PDF full text, but instead there's this button that says find full text. Okay, so what does that mean? What it might mean is that this paper is listed in PsycInfo, but the library doesn't have it, or it might mean that the paper is listed in PsycInfo, but the paper itself doesn't live here, it actually lives in a different database. So let's click on find full text and see what the story is. Okay, so when you click on that, I'm going to go back a second. So when you click on that button that says find full text, you will wind up on a page that sort of summarizes the information about the article. And it says down here, full text of this article may be available from ScienceDirect. ScienceDirect is a different database that's separate from PsycInfo. And for some reason, this paper seemed important enough for PsycInfo to list it in the database but um, we just don't have it living there. And really what this probably means is the library has just paid for it to exist in one place. But luckily we have these links set up that connect you to them. So when it says full text may be available from ScienceDirect or from some other place, it'll have a link here that you can click on that's going to take you out of PsycInfo and into a different database. So you can see it looks quite different now. This one is called ScienceDirect. You can see the title up here. And in this case, the link to the download the PDF is up here. So it doesn't say full text PDF, it says download PDF, but that's okay. Either way, if you click on that, you pick the article, and there it is. It's going to open it up for you. So even though it wasn't living in PsycInfo, you were still able to get it. And the steps were to click on find full text, to see here that the article may be available from ScienceDirect and to click there and then to download the PDF from this new database. So that's also kind of an ideal scenario, right? Because you are getting the article still, you don't have to wait for it. However, sometimes you'll find that if you click on that find full text, you don't actually get the article you need. So what I'm going to do is move on to the second page because there's one that I know we don't have for sure. And that is number 18. Okay, so let's just say that you wanted to read this article, the United States of America and the glorification of violence. In this case, I'm going to click on find full text again. But this page is going to change now. So I still have my summary about, about the article, like the details about it. But now it doesn't say full text may be available through this other database. It says full text of article may be available via the Capilano University Library catalog. And there's this link here that says check journal page. OK, so what this is going to do, I'm going to click on it. It's going to take us to a page that tells us what issues of this journal we have. So what you can see here is that none of these PDFs exist in PsycInfo, but we do have them full text from 2001 to current in Academic Search Complete, which is, which is a different database. So let's go back to our last tab, look at that summary of information, and see when this was published. Okay, so the year is 2016, so it's from August 1st, 2016. 
and the journal page that tells us where it, like what we have in the library says that we should have 2001 to current. So we should have this in theory. But then it says 18 months embargo. And what that means is that we have it up till 18 months ago. For some reason, this publisher doesn't want us to have the most recent and up-to-date issues. So that's what our license includes. And since this paper is from August 2016, I'm, I'm doing this research in March 2017. 18 months have not passed and we do not have access to this issue. So when that happens, and let's say this paper is like super important, you really, really want to read it. You can probably still get it, but you have to get it through a different library. So back on this page that gives you the details about it, underneath the link we clicked before is another link that says other possible sources. Request this item via interlibrary loan. I'm going to click on that link. And what that's going to do is open up a new page that tells me which other libraries might have this, art, this article. And all these different ones, so at Okanagan College, Trinity Western, UBC, UNBC, and UVic, they all might have access to it. So what they could probably do if they have the hard copy is they could go to their shelf, they could scan the article for you, and then they could email it to us, and then we would forward it to you. This process takes a couple days, but if you get started early enough, you can totally get access to most of the things you want, even if they don't have the PDF in the Capilano library. So once you're here, you see, yep, the article is probably available at one of these places. You can place an interlibrary loan request. So you have to click this button or this link one more time. And then all you need to do is fill out your details, your last name, your first name, your student ID, um, your email address, and it will take us, I would say, like give at least three days, but maybe up to a week, just in case we have to check with different libraries and none of them have it. And then once they send the PDF to us, we'll send the PDF to you. Both the immediate access option and the interlibrary loan option will get you access to the papers that you need as long as you give yourself enough time. We've got one more activity for you and then I'll see you for the last video.